Hello everybody and welcome back to FTB Ocean Block. And in this episode, we fix a little issue with our power production and we finally get rid of all of those chests that we had. Oh my god, having a refined storage system is so good. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today... We're finally going to get rid of all of these chests. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of these things. And even though the storage scanner is quite handy to be able to navigate through all these chests, it's not that great because it lags and items don't go in. You have to shift click everything and click and drop. And you have to input everything one by one, not everything in one go. So upgrading to the actual refined storage system will be a huge um, plus, pretty much. Anyway. So there's one thing I want to do before I even start this, and that is to fix a little bit of an issue with our power. Now, we were perfectly fine with our power before, but we have run into another bottleneck. Since I've added five of these gas burning generators and got them all hooked up to these different energy cubes, we're not producing enough ethylene to run them all. So right now we're only getting about five buckets worth, which is only producing 22k. But they should be filled to the brim and they should be outputting anywhere from about 70 to 80k. So we're going to fix this right now by using XNet. Because this pressurized reaction chamber needs to have four inputs into it. Actually, all inputs are used. One for power, gas, items, fluid. I need to set up a method of inputting and outputting different things from one side. So I'm going to make myself a few more pressurized reaction chambers, maybe about two or three more. And we're going to use XNet to manage and route all of the different uh, fluids and items and gases in and out of it. So we can free up a bit of space and flatten this more up against the wall here. Because if I can just put everything in through the top, that's perfect. So let's grab everything we need first. And I don't want to do this for too long because I really want to get straight into our refined storage system. So all we need to do is grab ourselves pressurized reaction chambers. So reaction chambers, uh, how many of these can I make? I don't have any enrichment chambers, so make me three enrichment chambers. I need, if I'm going to be just three, I need, so that's two, three, four. And then I could be able to craft each one of these now. I'm still missing a basic chemical tank. I thought I made enough. Doesn't matter. But there we go. Four more or three more pressurized reaction chambers for a total of four. Now, I also want to make myself some installers. So, install to upgrade the crusher. So, one basic to advanced to elite to ultimate. Because I managed to get to at least ultimate for everything else. So, like all the metallurgic infusers and enrichment chamber here, they're all ultimate. And even the one over here is, which has allowed me to crush down all of this nether quartz. Like, if I just grab this bit that's been made there and just refine all that down, it goes so quick. Right, so I need to start XNet now. So XNet, we need a controller, which is one of these machine frames. Do I have everything? I need a redstone repeater. I need two of them. I'm also going to require a comparator. There we go. That makes us a controller. And all I need now is some blue connectors. So I'm now out of chests. Craft these guys up. Double click that. Craft me up a few chests. And now I can make myself my blue connectors. This should make me how many now? Okay, that's not much. I'm going to have to make a few. 12 should be more than enough. And 16 blue cable. I'll do two sets of it for 32. Right. I think we should have everything else in there ready to go. I just need my shrinking device and let's go in. And let's break all of this now. Right, there we go. They're just going to run out of power, but that's fine. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get everything else done in time. So, I'm going to space them out. Uh, probably should have done that a bit better, so it's evenly spaced out. There we go. So, let's try and set this up correctly. So, items are going to be in and output through the top. That's fine. Energy is going to be input through the top. Fluids are going to be input through the top. And gases are going to be out through, output through the bottom but also input through the top. There we go. So I just need to do that for each one. So you're going to be purple for in and out. You're going to be this fluid input gases. You're going to be 
input and output out the front. And that's the last one set up. Right. All I need now is my controller right here. I'm going to put the point. Uh, where should I actually put the point? Because I'm going to need to extract out power out of it now as well. Um, let's actually hook everything up first. So these are going to go like this. I'm going to continue. Let me actually grab better gas pipes. Uh, hopefully this thing's not dead. Okay, I think it stores its own power. I'm going to need pressurized pipe. Now, pressurized... I should have to search in here. Then we won't have to do that. Pressurized pipe from mechanism might be a bit better than using gas cable from easy pipes. If I make two sets of that, upgrade it to this, and then upgrade it to the next one, and then max it out with ultimate. Here we go. Now I'll be able to put these down along the back here and hook it in like this. Why does that look like a pumped out hydrogen? I'm not sure. But there we go. And I need my configurator now. And I need to set these guys all up to extract. There we go. So, using a connector, I need to connect the actual controller. And then I can connect it using the cable. Like so. And then this point. Uh, you know what, actually? I'm going to stick the point right here. And then I'm going to say another connector on top here. And that should connect. Hopefully, anyway. It, it, this is going up into it. It should connect. We'll see. Um, or maybe not. Maybe this won't work at all because I just realized I actually need to give this guy power as well. So if I stick that on the side there and just use another connector like that. And then just draw power out of it too while that powers that. That should work. Okay. So in here now, we have all of our connections. So let's start off with channel 1. Channel 1 is going to be items. So mechanism, logic, xnet, item. There we go. So this guy is going to create, I'm just going to create each one, because this is all going to be input, right? And what's going to be inputted in is biofuel, because over here now, I need the actual crusher. So the crusher is going to go, hmm, where do I actually put the crusher? The thing's going to be pulling out of there, and I don't need a connection for Xnet on that. I might be able to actually just put it right here. And then... Fix that cable there. Use easy pipe item pipes. Say this guy is going to input through the back, output through the top. Okay. And now I just need to... Oh, I need my pipe wrench. Get you up to extract. Make it really fast. And now the items... Uh, oh yeah, let's actually upgrade this guy now. And say auto sort on. Now he has no power. But he's going to get a connector point now as well. And what direction is that? That's south. I don't want south. I just want down and up connected. There we go. So, blue cable connected like that. Okay, so, now we have this. I just need to grab out biofuel and substrate. And I'm also going to need to put back down this drawer. And this drawer can connect right there. That's fine. So, drawer, you're going to be a insert. Okay. And you're only going to insert in substrate. So, whitelisting enables blacklist. Uh, no, don't don't click that. So, this is priority input only substrate. This crushing factory, I'm going to create an extract, and that's going to extract out biofuel. This guy, on the other hand, is going to be inserting only biofuel. Like so. Now we need to make another channel too, and this is also going to be item, create, and now we're going to say extract. It's only going to extract out substrate. There we go. So it's inputting in biofuel, extracting out substrate. Now channel three, I'm going to say Xnet energy, and that's going to create. There we go. Now I don't know why this guy isn't showing up. Maybe I'll have to connect it to a cable first. So let me grab out a cable. Um, yeah, this one will have to do for now. Stick this here, and then use the connector, and stick it there. Now that connects better, and it shows the thing. So this is channel 3. What did we say channel 3 was? I'm about to forget what channel 3 was. Uh, let's delete it, and remake it. Oh, energy, okay. So Xnet tree energy, probably should name it, energy... 
Uh, doesn't say, but at least when I click on the channel now, it'll say what it is. This is item extract. And this is item input. In out. In input. Here we go. So here we're going to create and extract out power. And these guys are going to insert power. And even for the crusher. There we go. So you can see that went back online and now is extracting. Each one of these guys both have power. And you can see this guy is making a little bit of ethylene. Now the next part is I need this ender tank. So I'm actually just going to hook this up here. And do this. There we go. And stick this guy here. I don't need it to connect on that. I need it to connect on the west only. West and down. There we go. And just a bit of cable and connect it like that. Okay. You're still set up correctly. Dump the excess oxygen. So gases output only on the right. And just turn you on to constantly extract that water. And actually, I do need another point of water. So let me just run this across like that. There we go. And say this guy, you get input of power too. Ender tank. You are going to be a new channel, and we're going to say Xnet Fluid. Okay, so this is going to be water. So all I need to do is put input water into each one. So turn on this, and this will input in water. Just make sure each one's got water. No, it's not. Oh, because I need to say you extract that water. And each thing is getting water now. Only a tiny bit. Can I make this go a little bit quicker? Number of ticks between operation. It can only extract out a bucket at a time. Huh. The other option is, is to make the water go in the sides here. And then just put the ender tank there and just run a big cable. I think that might actually be better. Um, but then this cable here is in the way. I'll have to move this to there. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Let me just quickly rearrange this. Okay, I think I have everything connected up now. So I've moved this up and it's connected to the top. I just need to actually reset it now. So you are no item input, but you are an item extract. Um, Yeah, and you're only going to extract out biofuel. You're also going to need to input in power. And now I've made a new channel called hydrogen because now we're extracting out mechanism gas. So let's create and go to this guy. So you are going to extract out hydrogen and you're going to input hydrogen there we go. So you have got biofuel. You've got biofuel. You have biofuel. No, you have substrate. Take that out. Uh, just make sure you're getting biofuel. Uh, only thing to do now is fluids input left and right and disable the top. There we go. So now you're making tons of substrate. The only thing is now the substrate needs to be extracted. So why isn't it? Extract, yeah, whitelisted substrate. But why isn't the substrate being extracted? It says in and output. Um, doing that work? No. Why isn't the substrate being extracted? Is it because it's got, oh, it's probably because there's no place to go. I didn't set this drawer up. Uh, your item input, but I think actually I should be doing this channel as an item input. Yeah, okay, so it isn't this one, so I can remove that. This channel, let's just say, uh, can I not input more? Okay, actually I can say this to extract out stacks instead of single. There we go, now it's extracting out everything. And it's not making enough biofuel because this guy is not extracting. Why is that? Um, did I set this guy up wrong? I'll put out the top. Why are you not extracting out? Is it whether you need to extract here? Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't know why that one's off like that. Item extract only biofuel. 
I guess it has to be on the same channel as these guys for input and extract out items. But if we say output stack, it pulls out the entire stack and it fills each one. So you need to get make sure these guys don't fill with substrate. There we go. Now it's just down to this guy not getting any water. Why are you not getting water? Did I disable the water? Oh, I did. And extract. There we go. Now everything should be getting a decent supply of hydrogen. Eventually. And everything's now producing ethylene. Allowing these guys to speed up. The only thing I need now is to max these guys out with speed upgrades. So let me go get them. Alright, just give you speed upgrade. You need a speed upgrade. And you over here, speed upgrade. Now I'll give them energy upgrades too. Yep, you can see the ethylene rising in these guys a lot. So over time, this should go a lot higher than it's currently generating. You see now it's 24k, 25k. So we might pop in here at the end if I remember, and we'll check out how this is doing. But before we get any later into the video, let's finally start refined storage. Now, I didn't expect that to take so long, but it had to be done. Right. So let's unbookmark these now because I don't need them. Let's get to work on our controller. So I've already actually gone ahead and made a tiny bit of quartz enriched iron out of a bit of quartz here because the reason why we had to fix the power there is because this thing was not getting enough power, as you can see. Meaning we only produced up 4,000 quartz enriched iron essence. Which is still quite a lot, may I add. So all we have to do is do this and transfer it all into quartz enriched iron. There we go. And now store it. But with all of this now, it should be enough to get started. So let's make ourselves our controller here. We need machine casing. I'm going to make up a few of them. 16 should be more than enough. And all we need now is the silicone. Now, I don't know if I can actually access this drawer through the storage scanner, but I'm just going to empty it out. You can see we have 28k of it in here. I think those speed upgrades onto that thing was, onto these guys was really good. Uh, I need to find a chest that doesn't really have anything in it. There we go. Uh, that'll do. So all I need now is processors. So processor binding. Need to make a bunch of that now. That should be more than enough. I don't actually really have anywhere to store this stuff. There we go. That should be okay. Why would I go in? There we go. Nowhere else. A tiny bit of storage in there. And nothing. But it'll get this part will get used up now. So basic raw processors. That's going to require iron and redstone. How much redstone do we have in here? Mm, 3k. And how much iron do I have available? I have 800 in ingot form. And if we look at gold, I have 36. So I need to crush down a few gold blocks. Okay, now the inventory is completely filled. That's fine. So let's make ourselves... Four stacks of this. Wait, am I out of diamonds now? I am. Yikes. Uh, let's make four stacks of this. And four stacks of basic processors. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's make six. Because I need a stack of construction and a stack of de uh, destruction cores. Let's fill this guy in. I have about four hours of time. Let's speed this guy up, because why not? And try and get as much of this uh, smelted as I can. Uh, you already got a 32 upgrade in there. Alright, so that should be most of the things I need smelted so far. So, now we can make ourselves our controller. So, one controller. We need a disk drive. There's one disk drive. Did I even lose up all my chests? I think I did. There we go. And a grid. So, this is where the construction cores come in. And the deconstruction cores. So, that requires glowstone then. Do I have any glowstone? I do. And now we can go back to, say, grid. Craft ourselves one grid. Actually, I need two grids. Yep, I need to make sure I click out of the inventory every once in a while so I can actually claim the rewards. You don't get them when you have this inventory open. Crafting grid now. I need a crafting table. And then crafting grid. Done like that. And I'm actually going to need two. So another crafting table. Crafting grid. Now I can make myself a wireless access grid. There we go. That's the entire storage setup. So we can break this now in a minute, but I'm going to break it and put it in the ground here. So here's our controller. Here's our disk drive and our crafting grid. Okay, now we need to make ourselves the actual 
uh, discs to store everything and just shift right click the controller to link your crafting grid. And I can stick this back here. Okay, to do this now, we're going to need to make ourselves a ton of 1k storage parts, meaning we need a ton of quartz rich iron, silicone, glass and redstone. How much of this can I actually make? I'm out of quartz now or silicone. Let me try and store everything. There should be a bit of space left. Uh, more or less, uh, I could put this here. Actually, you know what? This guy is a curio slot, meaning I can put him I'll put him on my necklace. Why not? I just need a lot more silicone. So let me just take out a ton of this. Okay, the inventory is full again. So 1k. How many of these can I craft? And now we're out of redstone. But I should be able to move up to the next one. Oh, no, I need redstone. Uh, let me go over to our mob farm and grab some redstone. Nice 100k redstone. Been more than enough now. In here now, so mark four. Or mark four? Tier four. Oh, and this is where we need the basic processors now. The last one other thing is we don't have a much of them, so I need to make a load more. So, raw basic processor, how many of these can I make? I'm out of iron now, so let me just craft up a ton more iron. Raw basic processor. Now we're out of silicone, but I should be able to stick these up here. And because we have a bit of time, let's use it up. There's been more than enough to get us going. Uh, oh, and now I'm out of redstone again. Okay, we have a lot of 4, 4K now. The only ones I'm going to need now is improved processors, meaning I'm going to need a ton of gold. And lucky enough, we have 9K gold over here from all of our drowns that keep spawning in there. Now, raw improved processors. We're out of something. Doesn't say what it is, but I'm guessing it's either redstone or silicone. I'm going to guess it's silicone. Uh, how are we out of silicone? I have tons of silicone on me. Oh, it must be redstone now. So let's get to work on actually making the final disc. I was trying to see if we can go as far as 16k, but I don't think we'll actually need to worry about that. Even if we get as far as 10, 24k, I'm sure that'd be more than enough to store everything we have. So 4k, can I make many more of these? No. 16k, I think I'm out of redstone now, yeah. So let me go get the wait, wait we're out of something else. Are we out of quartz enriched iron? No. And then I have no idea what else is we're looking for. Probably the improved processors. 64. Upgrade these now. I'm just gonna go as far as I can now. 36 of these. Upgrade them again. 12. Upgrade again to four. And upgrade to this guy. You know what? That's probably far enough. Uh, anything I have left over, we might set up to auto craft now later. Because since we'll have this, we'll be able to auto craft anything we want now. So all we have to do now is upgrade this guy into a disc and chuck that in there. Four million items can be stored in here. So if we were just to break a couple of these chests here, and we can even open our crafting grid. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I didn't actually add the actual wireless port or the thing on top, the antenna. But now we can just sit here and store everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and store everything that's in these chests. And yeah, then we'll go check on our power to see how that goes. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. There we go. Everything has been stored in the system and only 2% full. And the only other issue now is that these guys are all full. So there's two options we have. One, we can run a cable over and pump it all into the system. Two, we can use an ender chest. And I think the ender chest might be the best option. So if we look up ender, and actually we can set this to uh, two way now. Grab out these ender chests. Probably need to make a few more. Run a blaze rods now, but that's fine. If I grab myself an importer. Should be able to make this now. I just need to make a bit of cable. Importer. Grab myself now a stack upgrade. Need to make a few of these upgrades. Uh, they should be smelted over here. So stack upgrade, upgrade, make me 64 of them. Upgrade them into speed upgrades. Then I can make myself a couple stack upgrades. 
just need one. If I put, say, one ender chest, let me actually get rid of this here. One ender chest here, and say, import here, give it a stack upgrade and a speed upgrades. And now over here, this probably might cause a bit of a mess, but if I break these and try and store it in the system now. All right, there we go. If I just put the ender chests in the front here, it'll all store into the ender chest, and because of the import over there, it'll start sucking it all into the system. Meaning now, if I wanted to, I could actually break these guys, stand here, and just let it pump it into this chest, and you can see it just extracts out everything. So this is perfect. Now, there's still one more thing I need to do before we end the episode, and that is to connect that system over there now. And the only way to do that is by using wireless access to this network, using a transmitter and receiver. Okay, that should do for now. So the one thing I actually want is the wireless part, part. So make one of these and look up the range add-ons now, meaning I need a few more of these guys. I'm going to make four. It should be more than enough to cover the entire length of the island. So one, two, three, four. Grab this now, stick it on top here. Stick that in, and now I can access the storage from all the way over here. What I need from here is a network receiver, and a network transmitter, and a network card. So what I'll do is the receiver, I'm going to throw this up here, like this. Right click with the network card, come back all the way over here, and in the ground, I'm just going to stick that there, that. And now I need myself a external storage. Let me actually synchronize this guy. External storage. I need two chests. So give me out this wood. Give me 64 of them. External storage. One of them. Bit of cable. Have a bit. Now come over here. And all I have to do is stick this on the front. Run this cable down. I need one more cable. Make a little bit more. Why not? And now if I open the system, you can see everything that's in these drawers and now be accessed from inside our storage system. Perfect. So let's go actually check our thing here. Now, if we look up shrinking device, keep hitting G, shrinking device, come in here. Are these guys maxed out? Yes, they are. And you can see they're producing 72K each. And now this is outputting 200K and each one of these ultimate energy cubes are full. Meaning if we come back out, go over to our power pots, these guys should have full power. And they do, meaning we are going to be producing a lot more iron or rich iron essence. Now, next episode, I think it's about time we start looking about building under the water. So we're going to make ourselves the best here um, diving suit or wetsuit. We're going to make ourselves a RF tools builder and see if we can use that builder to build a dome under the water. I'm kind of thinking not just putting like a flat dome on, under the water, like the domes over here. If I can find that dome. There should be a dome over here. Yeah, there it is. I don't want to just do it exactly like this dome here. Like that. Uh, no. Can I get the right angle? There we go. I don't want to just do it like that. I kind of want to have like a big cylinder, like a big silo. So we have multiple floors and then a glass domed top. So that way we can have multiple floors of different machines and stuff going. And I think that would look a lot cooler. So between that, this episode and next episode, I'm going to clean up all of these storage things, hook them all up to this guy, and prepare to throw everything into the storage system and move underwater. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye. <laughs>